Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Cass. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm in a rush this morning, so I'm just gonna quickly chat with you guys. I'm gonna bring you guys along this week and share with you just my work-life balance or how I'm trying to achieve my work-life balance. I work in corporate events for an interior design magazine. I'm also a social media manager. I do content creation. Obviously, I'm here on YouTube. And I also do events for small businesses. So I have a bunch of things that are always going on in my mind. But today's an office day. It is rainy outside which is not fun so I have a cozier outfit I have this trench coat from Aritzia I got it from their warehouse sale so this one I think originally was 300 something but I got it for 168 which is a steal in my opinion then moving on to the actual outfit I have this American Eagle sweater tucked in slightly just halfway into these Abercrombie Sloan pants which are in the dark brown I have a belt from Celine just to tie it in together and some chunky gold hoops and and then I have not hoops my chunky gold earrings these are the chunky earrings that everyone loves from Amazon slash Bottega Veneta and of course I have the infamous cowpack bag which I am obsessed and I love I'm debating if I should get another work bag just for traveling purposes and then one specifically for work so I don't have to switch everything out we'll see I really need to leave so I'm gonna quickly show you guys this of course I have my little bag that I'm bringing some things in. I barely showed it the last time, but I just want to actually show how cute this is. They come in so many different prints. This is a brand, it's called Dose, and here it is right here. And they're a small business here in New York. They're so cute, and all their bags are very functional. Like, where would you find a tote bag that has a lining inner pocket? It's so convenient, so you can put your wallet in there. But anyways, I am meeting my friend. I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm out of breath from talking so quickly, but I just need to like get this out so I can head to the office. It was her birthday in January. I haven't seen her since November because she went back to visit her family in Bolivia. But in November, I got her this pink sweater. This is the pink version of this white American Eagle top. It's so cute and so cozy. I finally can give it to her. She loves pink. She's very girly. She loves pink and purple. And I feel like Alex and I are just polar opposites in our style and everything. But we just gel together so well and I love her. It's so easy to shop for her because I just know it's like pink, Taylor Swift, girly. That's all. Another thing that I got her, in November I hosted a pop-up in Union Square for 32 small businesses. One of the businesses that were there called Cool Apparel had these really amazing Taylor Swift notepads. This small business makes these Taylor Swift notepads. So we have one that says, Dear Reader, and one that says, In My Note Taking Era. In the back it says, It's Cool to Be a Fan. So I will link this business down below. We're gonna go to a place called Five Spice, which is a really, really good Vietnamese restaurant in Soho. I'll just grab something from one of the stores there, put something else in her little gift bag. But yeah, that is what I'm getting her. I'm just gonna bring this to work so I can bring this to dinner and then, yeah. And the last thing I wanna show you before I go is in my last vlog, I don't know if it was my last vlog or the Houston vlog, but I unboxed these YSL lip shine oils and I haven't tried it yet so I want to try with you guys on camera this is the color nude in 44 and they're very very lightweight the packaging is super luxurious they're also a little heavy so I swatched this and it was a really thin formula this feels like a lip oil this is super interesting it smells sweet. It smells good. I like it. It definitely added pigment to my lips. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this color just because I love something a little brighter. This is a really like true pinky nude. I'll swatch this on the back of my hand so you guys can see the color. It feels really lightweight. And then when you blend it out or the way that it feels on my lips, it feels like an actual lip oil. But it's super lightweight if you guys can see that. Like it blends out so easily. Also, I'm such a lip oil gloss person or like a butter bomb person that i'm not used to wearing like a lipstick form i mean i think it's pretty i'm gonna have to just keep wearing this to see i like a formula that's much more glossier this one is definitely matte but it feels like a lip oil so if you're wanting something that's lightweight super hydrating that's also pretty sheer then i would recommend these so definitely not like a glossy gloss but it's still really really pretty it feels really good on my lips too anyways i'm going to head to work now and i will see you guys after when i'm with alex 
time in Soho now. I'm in my little clear umbrella. Well, this is technically Novita. But I'm going to a place called Five Spice, which is one of my favorites. Since it's really raining today, I thought today would be the perfect day for pho. I also had no time to get Alex another thing for her birthday or wrap it, so I'm just gonna hand it to her. But yeah, I'm excited to see her and I'll bring you guys along. Okay, we're at Fire Spice, we got Fa. Alex is here, haven't seen her in 10 million years. Finally. <laughs> I know. Wait, what did you get? I got the beef heart, which I always get. I should try something new, but I really don't want to. We're a creature of habit. Yeah. And then I got the, what did I get? The lemongrass pot. So we're gonna enjoy, catch up. Just got home and of course I had to stop at the little cupcake bake shop, which is basically the most, I would say the most popular on social media. And it's actually really, really good. And this is the first time I'm trying a cake. I usually always get cupcakes, but this one was their number one selling cake. There was even a whole article about it. So I wanted to try it out. This is the Brooklyn blackout cake. I'm excited. Like, look at how yummy and soft that is. I'm just gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Dinner was really, really good. I loved catching up with Alex. It was so fun. And I haven't seen her in so, so long, so it was so nice. But I need to shower and get back to work. There's a few things I need to finish. Today was such a long day at work and I'm not done yet, but I don't want to be stressed tomorrow. So if I just be stressed today, then tomorrow it'll be better. Good morning. I just woke up. It's 6.45. Literally did not even make my bed. I just <laughs> rolled out of bed. I woke up at 6 o'clock, which is usually what time I'll wake up but I was so exhausted, my body was telling me no. You know when you're so tired and you think you just put your head down for five more minutes and it ends up being like another hour? That's what happened to me. I woke up and now it's suddenly like 6.50. So I still wanna get some movement into my body because I don't have time obviously to get a entire hour workout. Whenever I do an at-home Pilates workout, I'll usually just do Eleni Fit just because she has a lot of options that you don't have to bounce around. So like this one's my favorite, the 30 minute small waist and abs, no jumping because who wants to be doing all that in the morning? Before I work out, I also put on my follow bangles when I do Pilates and I got these off of Amazon. They're obviously are much more affordable ones, but I just really like the look of these. But I think these are maybe $40. I think something absurd and these are the two pound ones I just put these on my ankle just so I have more weight to work with so it's a little bit of strain training at the same time and you can also adjust these so I only had time for 26 out of the 34 minutes I'm a little out of breath um, it was a great lightweight workout it wakes me up and now I feel ready for the day I wish I could have finished the whole thing because I was having a great time but it is 740 and I need to leave in 40 minutes so I wanted to give myself enough time to look pretty presentable because I do have a few meetings today. Hi guys, so I just shower, got ready. I need to leave in 30 minutes. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys a product that I've been actually obsessed with. As you guys know, I love Charlotte Tilbury. Like all their products are so amazing. I haven't seen anyone talk about their blush. This is the Cheek to Chic, but essentially it's a shimmery blush and I always go for matte, but this is just bringing my face to life and I need to show you guys. This color is really, really pretty and I love how there's a pale pink and then a warmer pink. To me, it's the perfect mix because they have a cool tone pink and a warmer pink. So. It's just really, really beautiful. I don't have any blush on, but I just wanted to show you this. It's so pretty. And it just brings my face to life. I don't know if you guys can even see in the lighting. So I'll have to bring you guys out. And also, like, it just creates such a pretty glow. You guys can see that on my cheeks. Keeping it super cozy for the office today, I just have my long sleeve top from Uniqlo. This oversized cardigan from Abercrombie. And then I have my Abercrombie Sloan pants. In black yesterday i wore brown today's black i also have navy and tan and then i just ordered another pair of pants last week so i love abercrombie as you can tell feeling cozy today it is rainy and windy thankfully the rain stopped it's just drizzling it looks like but i'm not looking forward to walking in that weather and then i'm also gonna wear that brown coat that i wore yesterday just to keep myself dry hi guys it's after work it's raining very bad right now it's pouring and I'm in Chinatown slash Two Bridges. This is what the area is called. And I'm going to look at a venue for a potential Social Lux Club event, which I'm super excited for. So now we're going back home. We toured the venue. I have to think about it. I didn't take any 
videos of it. Um, I am looking at other venues as well. Right now I'm kind of just like brainstorming and getting some ideas. Yeah, that's my little update. So we got home and we did a little battle of the chocolate cakes. Yesterday we went to the cupcake bake shop. Today I grabbed a cake from Magnolia Bakery and the winner of our little cake comparison is Magnolia. We've been on a chocolate cake kick, so whenever we see a chocolate cake anywhere, we'll grab one, see if we like it. I'm trying to find the best one in New York. So far, Magnolia is in the running. Here's my simple little dinner. I made some egg drop soup, which is my favorite, and I loaded it with eggs because, oh, it's very hot and steamy. I did five eggs into the batch because I just really, really wanted a lot of <laughs> protein in this. And then I have the rest of the roasted veggies that I made a couple days ago. Watching a new Netflix show. Good morning. It is Thursday and I woke up late. So I'm rushing out the door. Barely got a workout in. I just walked in the treadmill for maybe like 20 minutes. And then I quickly got ready. But my outfit. My outfit today is very, very simple. I have the St. Maurizio coat because it's about 30 seven degrees and then i have this ralph lauren sweater my sloan pants from abercrombie then i'm just gonna wear my sneakers and then i have my little amazon chunky hoops or chunky why do i keep calling it hoops chunky earrings and yeah and also if you missed my previous vlog i chopped my hair eight inches and so i'm still getting used to styling it because now i actually have to style it if i want to wear it down because my hair is naturally pretty wavy and also thick. So I just ran through with a round brush and I just flipped the ends in and out and just created a little mini blowout. But this is my look of the day. I'm excited to get to the office. I have so much to do today, so I'm not even going to bring my camera out. But yeah, I will see you guys when I get back. Hi guys, I just got home and it is 8 o'clock. I had such a long work day today. I obviously went in at like 9-ish. I left at 7 and I just got home. Only because my coworker traveled in to the office and she's on Long Island. So we ended up staying a little later because she was going to stay later and we got some stuff done. So I'm definitely not going to open up my laptop again for the rest of the night but yeah anyways aside from that i'm home it's eight o'clock my boyfriend made dinner thank gosh because i'm starving we have some roasted veggies this is our go-to roasted veggies rice slash salad and then the steak is in the oven here's the finished dinner i've been obsessed with these sesame i don't know if it's sesame but it's ginger dressing that you get when you get like sushi and whatnot so i found one at whole foods it's not the best it's not restaurant quality but still really really good i should actually show you guys the bottle so you know for reference the brand is momo dressing and this is just a standard ginger one it's good but it's just not it's not obviously not as fresh as the one in the restaurant but it's still really really good but then after that we have the roasted veggies we always just combine a bunch of different veggies chop it up olive oil a bunch of seasonings and throw it in the oven and toss it every 10 minutes till they're really soft this is a new york strip we got it from whole foods happy friday i wanted to show you my super quick simple easy two minute breakfast that i love i've been eating this almost every single morning and i'll usually have it with eggs but i'm not that hungry right now so i'll probably make my eggs in a couple of hours i'll have a multi-green toast with some shredded coconut and honey and look at how delicious this looks my mouth is watering looking at this and then i'll usually have like a couple of eggs on the side with avocado or fruit and it's so, so good. But I just need a little pick-me-up because it is a intense work day today. Here is my lunch of the day. My boyfriend got this from Wegmans. So I'm going to eat some of this and save the rest for dinner. It's now 2.30. So it's been five hours of just staring at my laptop and I have a headache. <laughs> but I just want to give you guys an update. going to try to finish in the next couple of hours. And then I can close my laptop for a little bit and go to Sephora. It has been quite the day. It is 7.30. Thankfully, the sun is still a little bit out. It just set, so it's going to get dark in probably 30 minutes or so. But I finished work at 6.30. I thought I was going to be able to finish by 5. But there was so much to do. And then I just felt so gross because I didn't like shower or work out or anything. So I hopped in the shower and then just got ready really quickly. I didn't really even do much. I did very, very minimal makeup. No mascara or anything. And then I just put on this little outfit here. I got this top. It's a long sleeve linen button up from Banana Republic Factory. I got my sweater. I think I got it from American Eagle. And then my jeans are Old Navy. I 
have this cute little crossbody from Amazon. I'm so not used to not being able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Because usually every single Sephora sale, like day, opening day, I'll be there right at 9 a.m. I'll get my things, I'll come back, I'll film the video, I'll edit. And obviously I knew today I wouldn't be able to do that. But at least I thought I would at least be able to, you know, sneak away right at 5. But that was not the case. And so I probably, I definitely won't be able to film that video today. So I'm just debating on when I'm going to film it. I'm also debating if it's even worth filming and putting on YouTube. We'll see. I will keep you guys updated. Happy Saturday. Guys, it is simply just not the week. I originally had planned for this video to be like how I balance my life, but this particular week just so happened to be the most unbalanced week of my entire corporate life since starting it's actually insane and then also i've been doing stuff after work almost every single day so it's just not as balanced so i don't even know what i'm gonna call this vlog but it's finally the weekend it's saturday we're going to kylie and charlie's apartment today they got a new apartment so we're gonna do like a little apartment warming lunch with them they're on the upper east side so it takes about an hour to get there last night i did end up going to sephora I'll quickly show you guys what I got. I didn't go too crazy, which I'm really proud of myself because usually I'll have like two full bags. I wanted to just limit myself to things that I really, really needed. And also a couple of things I want to try, but I might pop into Sephora again today on the Upper East Side to just, just to browse and see if there's anything else that I missed because I do get 20% off because I'm a Rouge member. First thing I got is the Peace Out Acne. These are the best. If you really want to save yourself from a breakout, this is it. I always just put this on overnight or throughout the day. They also have a daytime version, which is really, really thin. You can also layer makeup. You can't really tell it's on when you have it. This one works the best because it's really thick. Next, I got this product that I'm really excited to try. I have the perfume version of this. This is the Skylar Clean Beauty Hair and Body Mist. And I got it in Vanilla Sky. And I have the Vanilla Sky perfume. The notes is a cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar so that is right on my alley you guys know i really really love like coffee chocolate really warm scents the next thing is something that i'm excited to try this is wrong side <laughs> this is the dr dennis gross alpha beta extra strength daily peel this apparently helps with hyperpigmentation and i do have acne scars so i'm excited to try this i'll let you guys know this is just a sample one they're really expensive so i didn't want to go full force five treatments were 20 dollars, but there's one the next one up would be 35 for like 90 so i really have to see if i like this before i commit to that next i'm really excited for this because you guys know i love the tartlet tubing mascara well, they have... Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to get a mini mascara. Okay, I need to put that on my list today. I definitely am going to go to Sephora then because I wanted to find one for my travel bag. This is the Tubing XL. I don't know what the difference is though, honestly, but I saw it and I just immediately needed it. Then I got an extra Summer Fridays. This is my all-time favorite, favorite butter balm so i got another rare beauty mini blush and they're also really really pigmented then i got a mini professional my favorite primer i've been literally using this since seventh grade so i got the mini version for my travel kit then look at how cute this little mini concealer is i've been using the hourglass concealer for about two years now it's so good very opaque if you leave it on for a minute without blending it it becomes even thicker and more full coverage then i got the benefit gimme brow i was really excited to try this just because i've been using the nyx thick it stick it if you guys watch my houston vlog then you would know that i was struggling to find like a little mini bronzer so this is perfect this is the hula mini it's really really small and i think it's so cute i used to use this all the time and i totally forgot about this honestly so i'm happy about that and last but not least my favorite bronzer of all time the milk makeup baked and i'm gonna put this right in my travel bag because it's just so good i feel like maybe i'll get myself another one just to have have one on hand for my daily use this is my little sephora haul i don't know if i'm gonna do a dedicated video just because at this point i'm really lazy this time i will opt out for not doing the sephora <laughs> Sephora video, but I just love vlogging anyway, so I I thought I'd just put it in here. In other news, <laughs> I have to edit my YouTube video. Usually I'll do this in the week, but this week was so hectic, and these past few weeks have been actually really hectic, so I haven't been able to edit the YouTube video that's going up tomorrow. Three weeks in a row, I've been editing all day on Saturday for my upload on Sunday, but typically before that, I would do it on a Monday or Tuesday, and I would get it out because it does take some time. We have a couple of updates here. So it is now 
12.30. We're about to leave to go to Kylie and Charlie's. Really excited. It's gonna take us an hour to get there. First update, I tried the new mascara. This is the Tartlet XL. And look how long my lashes are. I love this formula already. And then I also, I don't know if I mentioned in this video or the previous one, but I started using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic, and it's very, very glowy. And so this is like what it looks like in natural daylight. I know I didn't really show it the last time. I tried the Skylar Hair and Body Mist. It is hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin, and it's a warm and cozy scent. So I literally just went and sprayed a couple of all over. It smells so good. Like something that I've been really wanting is something that really sticks. I just want to just smell like a warm vanilla gal all day every day and all the scents that i use they don't really last all day long before i go i really want to show you guys this abercrombie order that i got in if you watched my previous vlog you know that i was not happy with the banana republic order the pants were so so tight around my thighs and i usually like to get the curvier fit of things i went back the next day and i got like a couple shirts again just to see if i liked it i thought i really liked it in dressing room and i got home took off the tag because i loved it so much in the dressing room hated the fit of one of them but i took up the tag so i can't return it but anyway so i got three things first thing that i got is and they're both i think like oversized yeah it says oversized the first thing i got is this lace button up which i'm super excited for see all the details here i mean it's really really cute i'm just praying that this one works because i wanted something cute for the spring slash summer i'll probably just wear like a tank top or something under this or just throw this on top of something, but I'm gonna try this on when I get home, maybe. The second thing I got is another button up. Yeah, this is the Oxford fit of a long sleeve button up again. I'm just like so over returning things, so I'm praying that this works. Abercrombie barely ever does me wrong, but this already looks 10 times better than the other one that I got from Banana Republic. Some trousers, a little sweater. I'm excited. Last but not least, I got the straight, I think it's a straight fit of work pants. This is the ultra high relaxed straight. So this is supposed to be a bit more structured than the Sloan. You guys know I love the Sloan pant. I use it all the time. But this one is just a bit more straight. It's not too wide, but yeah, we'll see. I'll try this on, but I'm excited. This is the Curve Love version. I always have to get Curve Love because I cannot fit into the regular sizes. Finally made it to the Upper East Side after an hour. That was the longest it's ever taken because the weekend trains are delayed. So we had to wait for 25 minutes for the train. So we're on 86th Street right now. We're going to 86th and 2nd because there's my favorite donut place in the entire city called Caroline's. Can't wait to show you guys. This is our old neighborhood. So there's a lot of fun things to do on the Upper East Side. Like Thank you so much. This mix we're ready hopefully i don't spill it everywhere i'll like hold it like this just yeah that would be amazing so good this looks so yummy proud of you thank you thank you for your onion cutting and bell pepper cutting we're at kylie's new apartment and it slays it 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 kind of it does, does. slay don't be humble <laughs> <laughs> or like just say it <laughs> it's it's um giving me a better quality of life <laughs> not to be dramatic but it's true because my last apartment literally only fit my bed and nothing else and i could barely walk in it so yeah it looks so good i know i'm gonna try it because i don't know it's oh, oh good the new apartment is stunning and beautiful and i'm obsessed with it i just love how big it is I was telling Kylie that if our bathroom was half the size, we would have like a proper one. Yeah, because I think your guys' yeah. square footage is. It's a, it's like 620. <laughs> Here's a spread, prime salad. What did I even get? Supreme. <laughs> Milano Supreme. What'd you get? I don't know. I just know it has turkey cheddar, herbs, mayo, maybe cucumber, mine? Mine was tomato, his smoked gouda, turkey, chipotle mayo, and now it's stunning roast beef. salad. Yeah. So, has reality stars as the people who are participating. So it's like people from all different shows, like Bachelor, Playing Empire, whatever, and they come together and they play the mystery game together. So before going here, I went to Caroline's. That's what the logo looks like. And we have Creme Brulee, which is my absolute favorite. Super, super yum. 
chocolate, hazelnut, and lemon. So we're gonna cut into it and dig in. There's Layla, just hanging out. Yeah, these are my all-time favorite donuts in the city. I just got back from Kylie and Charlie's. We also did a very, very minimal amount of shopping. So I'm just gonna end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was so fun to vlog pretty much every single day this week, and this was a proper week in my life. I'll link everything that I talked about down below and I hope you have an amazing Sunday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on my socials and I'll see you guys next time.